Hi, this is Shubham from Moonish View and today in this podcast we are going to take a deep dive in a factor investing. Over here we are going to discuss about what is a factor investing, what are different categories, strategy, merits, demerits and bottom line. But before starting that, if you want to read the full article about this, the link of our article is provided in description. Also, if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds, then subscribe to our YouTube channel Moonist View. Thank you. Now let's start the podcast. The main question over here is about the factor investing. Factor investing or some way call it a smart beta investing is a subset quant investing where the fund managers seek to identify security based on patterns or features common to all those security that help to deliver the overall portfolio return. For example, a value based investment process typically focus on identifying company with a lower valuation that is lower PE ratio and price book value or dividend yield etc. In this example, value is a factor being used. Over 60 years of investment research has shown that any any return that a stock market portfolio makes has two parts market returns or a beta return that are directly attributed to the market as a whole and excess return or alpha which can only be attributed to a stock or a fund manager or their style of a managing money note that the market returns are common to all investors in the market and the difference in everyone's portfolio performance come because of alpha they make alpha could be a positive as well as negative Thus, researchers are now focused on finding those common factors or features or those specific market that persist over time and almost as a rule can be attributed as the source of a positive alpha. While these features or markets are not specific to any industry or business or a company depending on the phases of a company or a market cycle, they emerge and can vanish too. A whole host of a metrics have been created by researchers and investment gurus over the years that help us to identify these factors since some of the factors have been found to generate a long-term positive access return in other words alpha they have been dumped as a smart alpha basically trying to focus only on that factor of a market that can generate a better return than rest in trying to using actor investing you start with broad universe let's say NSE 500 companies and try to rank companies companies on the basis of a factor. Let's say a lower price to book value ratio will be used to rank companies of a such that the highest rank company of this basis factor will have a lowest price to book ratio and vice versa. The top 30 company based on the factor for example may be a value factor oriented company. Similarly other factors like a growth, dividend yield etc could be used to select a companies. So this is what factor investing is. Now let's discuss the two broad categories of a fact like the economy and markets these factors also tend to be a cyclical not all factors perform similarly at the same time and keep changing through over a longer period most of them tend to outperform the broader market the investment theory thus is that if one can identify the prevalent factor at any point of time the security selection process can be made automatically based on this factor with hundreds of research papers having been written on the subject the most popular strategy focus on following two kinds of factor investing are the first one is a macroeconomic factor like inflation, interest rate, etc. And second one is the fundamental factor like value, size, quality. Let's discuss popular factor used for building investment strategy. Over here we are going to discuss a six popular factor. The first one is a value as a factor. Over here, stock with lower price relative to their fundamental value have historically outperformed more expensive stock. The second factor is a dividend stock with higher than average and growing dividend yield tend to beat the stock with a lower yield over the time the third factor is a size smaller the company as measured by market capitalization have historically outperformed the larger company this can include small as well as mid cap company the fourth factor is a momentum strong past performance in the stock market over the preceding 3 to 12 months tend to lead outperform over the following 12 24 months the fifth factor is a low volatility stock with a lower than average volatility have historically outperformed over a long term the sixth factor is a quality stock 
stock with a strong profitability characteristic have proven to outperform over a longer period of time. Now let's discuss the merits and demerits of factor investing. The first one is the transparency. One of the biggest merits of a approach of investment strategy of a smart beta fund is their objectivity and evidence based nature. While the traditional investment approach can tend to somewhat a black box, factor investing is a more transparent and easier to understand approach with respect to cause and effect of a decision and performance. Since the multiple analysts are required to track different sectors, cost and managing goes up. However, fund managers are often required managing these quantitative models based on portfolio or index strategy. Factor investing focus investment strategy tend to lower cost strategy. For example, UTI Flexi Cap Fund charge 1.09 percentage per annum in its direct plan while UTI Nifty 200 Momentum 30 funds direct line charges only 0.3.9 percent per annum. The difference is a 70 basis points. The second key element is an investment risk. Most factors are less correlated with each other and hence they can lend to provide diversification benefit and lead to reduce the portfolio volatility. A simple fix might still be invest in a multi filer index fund for a diversification. The third key factor is a long term basis. Quantitative strategies like a factor fund or smart fund are usually based on a statistical model that based on multi-year data. This focus to generally provide a full market cycle outperformance and hence they can tend to outperform the market. Smart beta product does require some conviction and patience in a such period. Now discuss what is the bottom line over here. Factor investing or smart beta investing is one of the important way of investing with a key focus on individual element as a factor. Factor investing is focused way of achieving a goal to beat the market as a large. If you want to read the full article about this in the link of our article is provided in a description. Also if you want to watch a quick summary video of this podcast for less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. Thank you guys for joining with us. Here Shubham from Monist View signing off.